Now we're going to learn how to translate each verbal phrase into mathematical phrase. So from this words into algebraic expression or to mathematical phrases. Example number one, 18 more than P. So 18 more than P. So this is 18. So all we have to do is 18. We're going to change this into mathematical phrase. So more than. If it is more, it's simply plus. 18 plus P. So 18 more P, that's 18 plus P. However, if according to, to them, if it is more than, um, it, you're going to interchange P and 18. So instead na 18 plus P, ang gagawin mo, kasi ang more than diba is plus, less than, minus. So if it is 18 more than P, ibig sabihin niyan, P plus 18. Instead of 18 plus P, kapag more than, if it is only more, so 18 more P is 18 plus P. So next, the product of A and 6, we know the product is times. So times mo lang, the product of A and 6 that is, is times mo si A at saka si 6. So A times 6. However, you're grade 7, so you're not going to use x as times. So, a6. This is simply a times 6, or 6a. 6 times a. You could use this one, 6 times a, or 6 parentheses times, or 6 parentheses a. However, the encouraged one, the most used one is 6a. Next, twice x. So twice x divided by twice z. So twice x, so twice x. Dalawahin mo si x, so 2x. Try z, twice at long z, so try z. Divided by try z. So divided by is divide. So it's simply 2x divided by 3z. However, it is also useful to know that if divided by could simply be written as this one, yung over. So 2x over 3z. So 2x divided by 3z. Next, the sum of 10, the sum is plus. So i plus mo daw si 10 at saka the quotient of 5 and r. So 10 and, so and magiging sum, so plus. So the sum of 10 and, so 10 plus. The quotient of 5 and R. Quotient, we know quotient is divide. So, you could write this divide, na ganitong divide, or we could use this one. So, however, this is easier for this one. So, quotient down ni 5 as ka ni R. So, you divide mo si 5 as ka si R. So, quotient 5 divided by R. So, it is simply written as 10 plus 5 divided by R. However, it, also, it is also worthy to know that, um, this is could be written as 10 plus plus the, the sum of 10 plus the quotient of 5 and r. The quotient of 5 and r, ibig sabihin, one quantity lang yan siya. Ibig sabihin, kapag may the quotient of blank, the, the product of blank, you, you need to put them inside the parentheses kasi one quantity lang yan sila. Ibig sabihin, parang isa lang yan sila ang itong the quotient of 5 as for r. So the quotient, we could write this one. However, it is when you're going to write divide, kailangan mo talaga ito, parenthesis, the quotient of 5 and r. So, again, kapag the sum of 10 plus the quotient of 5 and r, so you need to put them inside the parenthesis so that it would be more correct. Next, 12 less than the product of m and n. 12 less than the product of n, m and n, so... Again, 12 less, kapag may done, mauna ito. However, kasi walang done, so minus, diretso minus. The product of M and N. So, pwede mo lagyan ng parenthesis kasi nga, one quantity lang ito. Kasi the product of, kapag may magaganyan, usually one quantity yan sila. So, M times N. So, M, N. Or, kasi nga, one quantity na yan sila. So, pwede mo nang simply write as M, N. However, dito talaga kailangan talaga ng parenthesis. Next, two-thirds of a number, two-thirds, 
two thirds of a number, we don't know the number. Ano ba yung number na yun siya? So, because we don't know them, we're going to put simply X or Y or A or Z. So, it's up to you. So, say number natin dito si X. So, two thirds of a number subtracted from. Because it's subtracted from, ibig sabihin, mauna ito siya. Itong si square of the same number. So, the same number, di ba? Mauna ito siya. Minus, pero mauna ito siya. So, square of the same number. Sino nga yung the same number? X. Square mo daw si the same number. So, square mo si the same number. So, si mo, kasi mauna si the square of the same number. So, mauna si X squared. Subtracted from 2 third X. So, kapag ang sagot mo is 2 third X minus X squared, that's wrong. Next, the cube the cube of the sum of a number and 6. So, the cube daw ng sum nito. So, first we're going the sum. Kapag may mga the sum of, the product of, the quotient of, you put that inside the parenthesis so that it would be easier. So, unahin natin the sum of a number. Kasi cube, so, raised to the power of 3. Ibig sabihin yan. Kapag x2, that's x squared x3, x cube. So, the sum of the number, the sum. So, the sum of a number, we don't know the number, so, what are you going to use a lang naman? Dito, si a daw si number, at saka si 6. The sum of a and 6, cube. The cube of the sum, so, i-cube mo lang tong the sum nila, ni a at saka 6. So that's how we are going to answer. Next, the difference of 4 times y and 7 divided by tries x. So the difference. Oh, the difference of 4 times y. So 4 times y is 4x. 4x, uh, 4y rather. X ang sinulat 4y. The difference. So the difference of 4 times y minus the difference. Ang n, palitan mo lang ng difference. So, n. 7 divided by trice, trice x. So, trice x, 3x. So, 4 minus 7 divided by 3x. If you're going to use the divide, which is like this. 4y minus 7 divided by 3x. So, Again, I recommend you to use this one instead of this so that it would be easier. So that you less chance of mistake. So now vice versa. So from this one, we're going to write the verbal phrase. So this one, to make it easier actually, how you, how you read it is you may write also how you read it. So, 2a plus 4c minus d. So, you could simply, yes, 2a two, two minus 4c. 4c. Ay, bak minus yan? Sorry, sorry. Plus 4c minus d. So, this is a verbal phrase already. However, usually we're not, we are not using this. Instead of 2a, you write twice a plus 4 the plus the product of 4 and c. S less D because the one minus is less or minus D or subtracted by D. So you could write that as so you could have as many answers as possible as much as it is correct, as long as it's correct. So for 2a, you could also write the this because it's plus the sum of choice A and 4c subtracted by subtracted by d or again so you make it as easy as possible as simple as possible so 2a plus 4c minus d so that's correct depends on the teacher 
if he's going to accept it or not. Next, because this is parenthesis. Again, ko pag may parenthesis, they have video ba dito na you use you prefer preferably use the sum or the product or the difference or the quotient. So because there's a parenthesis in here, so you, you, it's advised that you use the sum because it's plus. So the sum of tries C and B. So the sum of try C plus B, this is try C plus B. So kapag 2 dito, twice C. Kapag 1 lang dyan, so C, 1 C, 1 C. That's C plus B. So you can do C as B. Kapag 4 dyan, 4 C. So that's sum 4 C. Divided by, this is divided by, the product of A and D divided by the product of A and D so this is the product of A and D you could, you could not simply write A, D so this is the product of A and D kasi kapag dalawang letters pinagtabi mo that's the product next X, Y, Z Magkatabi ang tatlong letters, ibig sabihin times yan. So, the product of x, y, and z minus trice c. Grab that. Or x times y times z, x times y times z minus 3 C or you could have the product of X, Y, and Z subtracted by 3 C so try C so it's up to you as long as it will going to have the same mathematical phrase next because there's parenthesis so we're going to use still the sum the sum of A, B squared so this is quite complicated because maraming, maraming operations the sum of the product of this is the product of a and b squared a and the square of b comma and 5c So the sum of the product of A, the product of A and the square of B and 5C divided by the product, kasi the product di ba kapag may magkatabing letters, number and letters, the product of X and the Y squared. So the square of y so that's very complicated so you could simply also write the a the pro, the sum of a and b squared a b squared plus 5c the sum of a b squared and 5c divided by the product of x and y squared 